She says she simply went to a bar to meet a friend and have a drink, but ended up being drugged and raped over and over again for hours. I'm Adrian Gobril. We're outside of 361 University, where today a victim of an alleged gang sexual assault testified. She claims that both the former owner and bar manager of the College Street Bar raped her back in December of 2016. Now today, here inside the courthouse, we saw some security footage from that troubling evening. We have some of that for you tonight. But a warning first, the details in our story are graphic and some may find them disturbing. This is video from December 14th and into the wee hours of the 15th, 2016. The name of the alleged victim is under a court-ordered publication ban, and we've blurred all video of the young woman. The jury has watched nine hours of this security video from inside the College Street Bar. Today, the alleged victim was shown parts of it for the very first time. The accused are these men, former College Street Bar owner Gavin McMillan and former bar manager Enzo De Jesus Carrasco. Both have pleaded not guilty to gang sexual assault, administering a stupefying drug and forcible confinement. The alleged victim claims she arrived at College Street Bar that December night at 7.30 p.m. and was given two drinks by Enzo De Jesus. After the second drink, the court heard claims that she became dizzy and felt like she was looking through a fishbowl. Over the next 11 hours, she testifies that she was drugged and raped multiple times by both men. This video appears to show De Jesus violently raising her head, snapping it back to talk to her. She shakes her head in response and is pulled out of her seat over to where she claims McMillan gave her cocaine, though she said it didn't feel like coke. Instead of waking her up, it made her feel even more dizzy and sick. Inside 361 University today, the two accused, along with a 12-member jury made up of six men and six women, watched the video as the Crown asked multiple questions. The alleged victim testifies that the two men pulled her into different rooms inside the bar and raped her again and again, telling the courtroom that in her mind she was running for the door and leaving, but her body was somewhere else. The alleged victim couldn't recall much of what she was shown in the video today. In this portion of the security camera footage, she's helped into her seat, but falls to the ground instead. No one appears to help her up. McMillan appears to slap her with a hat or a cloth multiple times. He has his hands around her throat as he leans her over the bar and says something to her. Into the early hours of the morning, the alleged victim said her body was in extreme pain. She could feel her jaw cracking as the men allegedly forced themselves inside of her. Now the troubling case continues here at the University Courthouse on Monday at 10 a.m. The Crown will continue with their questioning and it's also expected that the defense will begin their cross-examination of the alleged victim early next week.